three, two, one. Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing Harush's favorite things, fall edition. So when I do Harush's favorite things, you know what that means. I give you a bomb ass Audible recommendation. Thank you once again, Audible, for sponsoring yet another video. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word and entertainment all in one place. At Audible, you can find the largest selection of audiobooks. Our newest plan, Audible Plus gives you, not our newest plan, their newest plan, gives you full access to Audible Plus catalog. Also, new members can try Audible Plus for 30 days for free on them. Give it a go. Also, I forgot to mention, with a membership, you get one free book a month. I'm signed up for that aside from, you know, me being sponsored. I was signed up a long time ago. But if you are going to sign up, do not forget to use my code. You can text Harush to 500-500 or just simply use the code. My recommendation of this video is going to be a little bit on the sexier side and the dangerous side. It is by one of my favorite authors, if not my favorite author, period, ever in the world, Robert Greene, The Art of Seduction. I definitely think that if you got finesse, you should read this book. I mean, I'm not saying literally play out what it's telling you to do or what has happened in history, but one part of the book that stood out to me is how Cleopatra finessed everyone to kill each other with sex appeal, and then made a bunch of guys go to war for her and do her dirty work. It was kind of epic. And then it talks about Mat Nahari. She was like an exotic dancer. I mean, she was not a stripper, but nothing wrong with being a stripper. She was kind of like a stripper, striptease type dancer. And what she did wrong to get her eventually killed because she kept like bullshitting a story giving herself more appeal than she really had, and just kind of how she presented herself in front of men. She was not that beautiful, but everyone would always spread rumors that she is like the most beautiful woman alive. She is one of the wonders of the world, and she would just like perform simple dances. She said she was from India, I believe, either like Arabic or Indian, something like that, where like it was like the Orient. What she did basically made her a lot of money, but also, she fucked up majorly because she just kept running her mouth and changing her story around. So they thought she was a spy and they hung her or something like that. But it gives a lot of examples in the book of how women have dominated men with sex appeal. Not only sex appeal, finesse and charm. Without further ado, I know you guys are like trembling. I haven't done one of these in a very long time. Let's begin with Harusha's 40 favorite things. No order, none of them is one is my favorite, one is not like equally amused by all of these things. So I'm gonna start off with my first little purchase since it says Harusha's favorite things. So it's like a little easel and it has a dry erase pencil and then it has it like it has a little bit of um, like a little eraser there and a holder and a clip. You put it on your desk and it's like super, super cute. It's 8.5117 shatterproof glass, dry erase surface and it's gold plated. I think it's like a cute little vibe. I always wanted like a little calendar, but truth be told, I have a digital calendar. So I always wanted one of these things on my desk and I feel like this is so cute and it's an aesthetic and you can close it up and actually use it as a clipboard as well. Love it. It was $20, I believe, from Target. Moving on, let's talk about lighting. So this I actually ordered because of Jaclyn Hill. Um, she's a friend of mine and an influencer, as you guys I'm sure no. If you guys follow me, I'm sure you guys follow her. This is a light. So one thing I was shook about this light was I have a lot of lights like this, but that's what it does. And I mean... So it goes up, down, it has like multiple features and you can do warm, cool, which is like that. I'm gonna turn it all the way. It has like a little digital thing right here. There you go, see what a difference that makes on my face, especially when you're doing makeup and you want like that glow look. Another thing that really amused me about this light was it has like little magnets in the back and it sticks, yo. So if you're doing your makeup, stick it onto like a magnetic thing, sticks. Really cool. Sticks to my clip, my clipboard. If I can stick this to someone's forehead and have them walk in front of me, or maybe the back of their head to be kinder, I would do it because lighting is beauty in my opinion. So it's like, 
you can catch the light and feel yourself. This was not that expensive for what it does. It also comes, let me show you, comes with a cover. You can put the cover on it and it diffuses the light. Also, chargeable. I can't stand the ones with like a back battery to it. I like these rechargeable ones. Everything that I'm saying right now will be linked below. So you can just go click on the description box below and they'll all be linked there. One of the best lights, period. Everyone has a ring light, but I low key like these little ones because it has like a little holder and you can take it everywhere with you. It's kind of like a stand. And if you decide to break out with a TikTok dance in the middle of the street, you can't take your giant ass ring light with you. This is like pretty portable. It has different features with the lighting. It has a cool, warm, and then it goes up and down. It's turned on with this. This is from Amazon too, super affordable. So the cool thing with this is it has a USB. If you have a portable charger, you can move this bitch around. Like obviously the other light that I showed you is pretty bomb, but this is a ring light. They have different purposes in life. And also this has a little iPhone holder. So we have that and then you can make it stronger. It has the plus, the minus, and then also you can change the tones, honey. See, look at Linda, look at. And you can have a party. How cool, right? Like I just think the function that this plugs in to one of these is a uh, pretty genius. Um, so if you are a TikToker or a beauty guru and you don't have that much money to start off your lighting kit, I honestly, even though I have like all these lights, when I'm at home, I'm just using this to be honest. I'll show you what my face looks like with it right there. That's kind of all you need to be honest. Less is more, darling, less is more. Now, in bed, I honestly love pillows surrounding me. I create a fort of pillows everywhere. So I feel like I know a good pillow when I find one. And I was only ordering pillows from Four Seasons, like Four Seasons sells their bedding. And I was paying so much money for these Four Season pillows. And if you guys have ever stayed out of Four Seasons, you know what I'm talking about. I have like their duvet, the comforter, everything. It just like, I feel like I'm sleeping in a cloud. But I recently found this pillow. And I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with the brand because I went in for sheets because it went viral or something. I change my sheets like once every two days. If I really could, I would probably change it once every day because that's how much I love clean sheets and I love like jumping in it like it's a pile of snow. This brand is called Casa Luna and this is their medium down alternative. This is Casa Luna down alternative medium. I think it's like for the density of the pillow. Like this is, but it's king size, sorry. I like king size pillows because I like a hefty ass pillow. But this feels so good. If you guys are ever in Target, go ahead and like go and touch this and you'll understand what I'm saying. It's like so cloudy. I don't like the Tempur-Pedic vibe of the pillow because it gives me a stiff neck, believe it or not. So if you guys like fluffy pillows, give this one a try. It's $29.99. It's really, really worth it. Casa Luna. Okay, so since we're talking about beds, I am very specific with my fluffy mattress, fluffy pillows, fluffy sheets, everything fluff, 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 marshmallow clouds. I wanna feel like I'm in heaven 24 seven. Like my aesthetic always needs to be clean, like just light. Obviously you guys know that I'm obsessed with scents. I just like making everything around me beautiful and feeling very comfortable. This is not a paintbrush. Let's say I steam my sheets after I've put them on. Um, sometimes I feel like there's shit stuck onto it or if you get out of bed, there's stuff on it. I started using this like even on my clothes because who the hell has time for those tiny ass lint rollers? I found this at Target. It's actually for <laughs> pets like when pets shed hair. So if you have a pet and they shed hair, hello, this is your new best friend. 50% more pickup per sheet. I mean, definitely think that this picks up more than any lint roller because just the size of it is like from my elbow to my wrist. And for clothes, when you're in a rush, I feel like this is definitely not good for travel, but for my bed, I use this too, and it gets everything off for my couch. It just gets the job done, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's affordable, and I know it's not for the purpose that I use it for, but it performs better than 
the things that are supposed to perform for what I'm looking for. Moving on, this is probably a product you guys would walk past or not give it a try. Um, I remember Chloe, I believe, is the one that put me onto this a long time ago. This is like one of her favorite scents from Fabrice. It is called Mediterranean Lavender. So let's say you put your sheets down. This is meant for fabric. Who can I spread this on? <laughs> I'm just spray it on my back. Sure. You just spray it from a distance. It smells so nice. <laughs> no, it smells so nice. So you can use this on your couches, any fabric, your curtains, your bed sheets. It just keeps it smelling so fresh and lovely. If you have curtains like in your bathroom, something like that, it smells so just like refreshing. Don't you feel like you smell good now? Oh yeah. But like not like a bathroom spray good. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, like I, I feel like this is a laundry fresh scent. I feel that some of Fabrice's scents honestly smell like disgusting bathroom spray and this definitely does not. So the scent of it, Mediterranean Lavender and it eliminates odors. It does not eliminate bacteria like Lysol does. So it's safe for your clothes. You can spray it in your closet on your clothes. If your closet is stinky for some reason, if it is, um, fix the problem, don't spray this. Your bed, your sheets, and curtains, pillows, couches. Honestly, I spray it on the floor of my car, like on the mats, and my car always smells very, very, very lovely. Moving on, since I did a spray with Fabrice. I know it's fall edition and I know everyone was probably thinking I'm gonna come in with pumpkin spice heavy. To be honest, that smell actually disgusts me a little bit. I like pumpkin spice tasting things, but I don't wanna smell it too much. Today I almost like, I smelled a candle that I was thinking I'm gonna try it out and it was very last minute. I grabbed it to smell it. It was so heavy and I knew I shouldn't light it. I lit it and I almost vomited in my mouth from the smell. It's just too heavy. But I did find this Glade Pumpkin Spice Things Up. It's the notes of pumpkin, caramel, and spice. I don't know why with smells like this, I'd rather spray an aerosol or something like that versus light a candle because, I mean, maybe I'm just not smelling the right candles. Comment down below if you guys have one. I have listed one before from Trader Joe's. That's my favorite, but I didn't want to read repeat what I listed before. Pumpkin spice things up. If you wanna pretend like you're cooking and you're Betty Crocker up in your kitchen, just spray this and it smells like you're baking up a storm. And it smells so lovely. I would not spray this in your bedroom. Disgusting, I don't wanna, like when I smell scents, it triggers like my hunger, my memory. So like this reminds me of food. No matter what, like I don't agree with anyone lighting up pumpkin spice in their bedroom or their bathroom, because when you're in there, it's gonna remind you of food, desserts, bakes, baked goods. I feel like the kitchen, I would spray this up and pretend I baked it all when I unpackaged packaged goodies and placed them and threw away all the containers and pretend I did it myself. Life hacks. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys do that. I mean, I will. if someone really asks me, I'll be like, I didn't bake that shit. Like, I feel like baking is very time consuming. So since we're on scents, Febreze again. So this is scents for your car. Um, the back of this clicks into the little watery thing and then it activates and you stick this in between your air conditioning vents. So anytime your air conditioner or heater is on, it just like consumes your entire vehicle. The scent that I like is Hawaiian Aloha. I've also tried the forest one of this. Both of them are good. Forest, I feel like it's amazing for men. Like if you want more of a masculine scent, forest is great. Hawaiian Aloha puts me in a happy place. I feel like I've always gone back to the scent and this little thingamabob. Since we're all cleaning our hands like crackheads nowadays, uh, we need hand sanitizer, but I'm so sick and tired of that nasty ass sanitizer. I don't know which one it is, but I feel like all the stores are like super cheap and the restaurants, they always have it in the front where it makes me want to go like Bleh, when you smell it because it's too alcoholic and it's actually not good for your palms. I have psoriasis, so I have to be careful of what I use. So the Brazilian Touch hand sanitizer, Sol de Janeiro. It smells so good. I bought like 10 of them and it makes your fingers smell nice too. 
And whoever is like, ooh, can I get a little bit of sanitizer? Anytime I spray it, they're like, ooh, what is that? Can I take a picture of it? And they end up purchasing it. So this is the hand sanitizer I've been on. Give it a go. It's a little bit on the expensive side. It's $16 for this. But honestly, we use it so often. I, I don't want to be reminded of how miserable life is right now. So while I was in Sephora, I saw this on TikTok, the Brazilian Crush Pistachio, Pistachio, Pistachio and salted caramel pistache and caramel sal initially i smelled this a long time ago and i was like mm, whatever and then when i sprayed it when it sits it does not have an alcoholic smell which i feel like body splashes usually do and that's what turns me off from them this actually smells really beautiful it smells like you took a tour of everywhere tropical. It smells like Bahamas to me. It smells like you're on the beach drinking a coconut. And it smells like you're having a very sexy vacation. You're having a vacation. I've been recently doing meditation classes on the beach and I've been wearing this and whenever I wear it, everyone there is like, oh, it smells so good. I just feel like it's definitely like a pool scent, a beach scent. You can wear it every single day too, but like, you know how I am. I have assigned scents for wherever I go, just like outfits. So Brazilian Crush Pistache Salted Caramel. You know I couldn't leave it alone if I'm giving you affordable scents I have to give you a higher end scent. This is Erin Tuberose Lasor. So like recently, I feel like I have my modes of what I'm into, what note I'm into, and this is pure tuberose. This is a very mature woman. This is a bitch that knows where she's going, what she's been through. She knows she's that bitch 100% in the DNA as well. It is not a sweet smell. It's a very like woody, sexy smell. And the main accords are tuberose, which is what I've been recently looking into. I feel like anything with tuberose I've been purchasing. White floral, yellow floral, woody, amber, sweet, powdery. This is a powdery tuberose. And of course, remember how I said I'm always attracted to something that has vanilla in it. I don't even need to know the notes of a scent and naturally I'll always pick the one that has the vanilla scent in it. It's like something with my soul and vanilla. So powdery vanilla, animalic, and citrus. So I'm gonna have a male and a female rate the scent. What does Out it smell like to you? Yeah, be honest though. Uh, give me seven and a half. What does it smell like to you? Citrusy, like a... It smells like a forest, you know? Like a sexy forest, like a romantic... It smells nice. Yeah. Yeah, it does smell like a cabin in the woods. Yeah. Fancy one. Yeah, this is like fall scent to me. I feel like this is an acquired taste. It's not like the Kirchian when whoever smells it, they're like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. This smells very different and I was actually gonna gatekeep this scent, but mm, I can't, I can't gatekeep anything, honestly. I know everyone's like, I gatekept this secret. It's like, no, I have a big mouth. I can't control myself. So I'm not gatekeeping this. I recently purchased it and like even one of my friends asked me like, don't fucking post this on your 40 favorites. I don't want everyone to smell like us. I don't really care. I feel like everything smells a little different. The only one I was a little butthurt with was I think my Montal and um, the Kirchian. I was wearing it for so long and I'm very proud of Kirchian, by the way. He is the new perfumer of Dior and he is Armenian French, so shout out to him. I will give you an affordable one and you guys are gonna be very, very surprised. These were $9 each. They're called Mix Bar. I got these from Target. I know I told you guys I would give my all to help you guys find something that smells good and that's affordable. And honestly, I've tried a lot of scents that are affordable and I just threw them to the side. These two really stood out to me. So one is called Vanilla Bourbon. So the cool thing about this, it's a body mist and a hair mist. So you can use it with hair and body. This one is called Cloud Musk. So the reason why I liked Cloud Musk, the, these are like, I would say mix these two because this one has the sweet and sexy and then this has the expensive scent. This almost smells Udi and oud is money. If that ingredient is, usually a lot of perfumes do not put oud in it. They mimic it by putting another ingredient that kind of smells like oud because oud is so expensive. This smells oudi. 
you can do them one out of 10. This is like pink sugar, in my opinion. Prada candy, flower bomb vibe. And this, I would say it's like Kirchian, it's Valentino, it's a little bit of Greenwich Village by Bond. There's a perfume by Killian. When I smelled this, I was like, oh my God, it smells like that. So, sorry, I'm gonna need to borrow your nose holes for another minute. So I'm gonna do Cloud Musk. And then over here, this one is Vanilla Bourbon. This is Cloud Musk. Mm-hmm. I'm not kidding. I like the, uh, cloud, the musk. cloud Musk more. And then smell my the hand. Mix. Yeah, the mix is probably the best. The best, right? Yeah. Doesn't it smell like... Are they meant to be mixed? No, but... You're pioneer. Yeah, I feel like all scents, though, you can mix. I feel like alone, they're not enough. Together, they're just right. If you guys want to purchase this, my recommendation is not one alone. It's going to be vanilla bourbon and cloud musk mixed together, combined. It gives a very expensive scent for a very affordable thing. It's $9, like, and look at how big the bottle is. This will last you a while. And you can use it on your hair. So we have Sol de Janeiro. Again, the Bum Bum Cream. I know a lot of you guys probably use this. A lot of people do. It makes you smell so good. It really does. It makes you smell really, really, really good. It makes your skin smell good. I would definitely apply this when your skin is wet. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but when you get out of the shower, lightly towel dry, and that's when you need to apply this for a maximum effect. I feel like it just makes your pores smell really good. I'm just keeping it 100 with you guys. I do not think it's the most moisturizing cream on planet Earth. I just think that the smell that it gives your skin is immaculate. I really, 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 really like it. What I do feel like moisturizes your skin on another level because don't forget fall, winter. This is crusty season, guys. Crusty, musty season. I feel like I get so much PR. I purchase so many like expensive brands and like with claims this and that but like I almost had to take myself back to what I used to use and Palmer's cocoa butter formula this is the skin therapy oil this is amazing for scars stretch marks dry damaged skin uneven skin tone and aging skin this has argan oil in it can I tell you I really forgot how good Palmer's smells it just so hydrating Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is, I forgot, it's not this that smells good, it's the cream. This is a little OD with the cocoa butter. It's a little too strong. Cocoa butter. 93% of women tested saw a reduction in the appearance of scars. I do feel like if you nourish scars, obviously it's not gonna miraculously go away, but if you keep hydrating them instead of keeping them dry and just like giving them love, they do reduce. Maybe it just appears lighter to me because it, your skin is so hydrated and nothing is sticking out. Like I might be crazy. I don't know. Studies show otherwise to back up kind of what I'm saying, but some people will disagree and say that's not possible because it's like deep, but I think it is possible because I've personally seen it, whether it's in my head or it's really happening. I think it's happening. It's happening. This is the one that is like true and blue. This is the cocoa butter with vitamin E again. Heals, softens, reliefs, rough, dry skin. 24 hour moisture. This is a big jar, honey. And this will literally keep your ass hydrated. I do not use it on my face. I do not suggest you use it on your face. I've seen some people use it on their face. I do not suggest your face. But your ass, your body, it just like, it makes it so creamy and dewy looking, kind of like the Kiehl's, but this is thicker than the Kiehl's because I feel like for winter time, we need a little bit more help because again, it's drier. Pure cocoa butter vitamin E provides 24 hour moisture, fast absorbing, proven to heal dry skin, suitable for eczema prone skin. So this is why Palmer's is really good. It's good for eczema. I have psoriasis. I used to think it was eczema until they told me it's psoriasis. It's psoriasis is a part of an autoimmune. So I get psoriasis all the time now, which is really fucked up. Like it's like, I need more problems in my life, but it is what it is. It is what it is. This is good for psoriasis and eczema if you guys suffer from it give this a go and you will really really like it and i really like how it makes my skin look a lot and also it's paraben and i don't know what 
P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E free. But it seems like bad. I always look at paraben free. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this brand. This is actually extremely affordable Panoxyl. I don't break out on my face as you guys can see. Sometimes I do. When I'm testing out new product, I'll get texture on my face if it just does not react well on me. But I swear it's like my body goes, oh, we're gonna pimp out your back, not your face. So I'll get some on my shoulders, but this has a benzyl peroxide maximum strength acne foaming wash. This is for face and body. So if you guys have breakouts on your face, acne on your face, on your body, this is literally going to be a gold mine for you. Panoxyl, face, chest, and back. And you can use it on your butt too. If you like, some people get butt need. There's no shame in that. I feel like when it's the time of the month, I hit it up with this too. And sometimes... I feel like if I've worn a lot of makeup, I will use this because I know it's not acne, but I just like really wanna like cleanse, purify my skin. One of the claims is if you have sensitive skin, very, if it says very sensitive skin, do not use it. I have sensitive skin. I have not had a problem with it. The only one thing I will say that it does, I'm gonna keep it real, I have psoriasis over here. So when I put it on my palms, it kind of burns the palms of my hands. So if you have eczema, psoriasis, dry skin on your hands, I definitely suggest that you use it with a cloth. I have maybe the least amount of beauty products for you in this. Today I'm wearing a lip liner and recently I've been wearing this lip liner on Instagram, TikTok, and on YouTube. A lot of people have been asking which lip liner am I wearing? It's super simple, the NYX Mauve. It's SPL831. I love NYX products. I don't care if it's like, some people consider it cheap or like drugstore. I love, love, love the color of this. So what, oh bitch, I almost smacked myself with this. When I use my brushes, I hate when they get out of order, like if you put them in the same bin. I am a psychopath with, you know, separating my brushes from my eye, blending, synthetic, contour, highlight, so on and so forth, foundation brushes. This from Sonia Kashuk, it has like the separators and it doesn't take up too much space. I feel like the other ones I see are so large and bulky. With this, like while I'm doing my makeup, when I'm putting away the brushes, I have my compartments of what I need to put away and then I clean them or somebody cleans them for me and they can put it back in the right container because girl, this is not enough for all my brushes, especially even on my vanity. So this is where my dirty brushes will go. I'll pop them in. You can actually use this as a brush holder. I think it has a beautiful aesthetic. It has a little gold plate and it's acrylic and you can actually see the whole brush in there. Sometimes I feel like brushes get lost in things when it's a solid color, but acrylics I prefer for makeup. The next beauty product. This is Sonia Kashuk again. Look at how big this bitch is. This is a body sponge, but for things that Harouche does not use them for the use that it was made for. Here's another one. I personally think that this beats your face very like fast and easy. And look at the side of it. It's flat right here. And this is so pointy. I feel like it's even pointier than the small ones. It really gets in to everything. And I know you're thinking, bitch, you're crazy. Look at how big that is. Don't knock it till you try it. Like it really gets in and does the job and it like fits perfectly on your face because of the flat surface on one side. You can use it for your body too. You can use it for whatever you want, but I just feel like for those people that don't have a lot of time to glam nor do they want to, or maybe you don't, you have the time and you just simply are not into it that much. This helps you get the job done extremely fast. And this is for body makeup too. A lot of people all the time ask me what lashes that I'm wearing even right now. It's going to be Ardell Wispies for me a lot. I really like the Kiss Wispies as well, but I just feel like this one's really easy to purchase. You can get them from Target, you can get them from Amazon. It's just really easy to do. This is this has a bonus sixth pair because do we really take the best care of our lashes? It's just an unnecessary expense. I do this and I put mascara on my lashes first and then I pop these on and then I do mascara again. And I feel like depending on how you applied your mascara, 
your lashes can look different. I'm really obsessed with the Wispy Ardells. Moving on, if you need to cut a bitch, just kidding. I razor my forehead. I don't do the rest of my face, and I know a lot of people actually do this before they apply serums, whether it's once a week or once a month. It's for dermaplaning. So I personally, I don't know why I like doing it on my forehead. It's not really a razor. I can't explain it. It's like a razor, but it's not really a razor. It gets rid of, it, it's kind of like a really, 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 really accurate exfoliator. That's what I would compare dermaplaning to. So this increases absorption of serums and moisturizers. So if you are going to dermaplane your entire face, you can apply a moisturizer. See, in my experience, I just feel like when you dermaplane, your makeup looks really good. Like, I don't know if the moisturizer and the serums really is gonna do a better job just because you dermaplaned. I don't know. Comment down below if you agree or disagree. I just feel like my makeup looks better. I'm gonna keep it real. I feel like it sticks better. I don't know how much of it's seeping into my pores because there is no baby fuzz on my face. So this one is from Japanesque and I love Japanesque tools. It's always been one of my favorite brands to purchase. Even some of their makeup is really nice, but I love, love, love Japanesque tools. And I found this at Target. This is a little weird. Miranda Kerr sent this to me. And if you know somebody that's obsessed with crystals, this makes a really good Christmas present. I love using metal or glass straws. It comes like this. It's like in a little bamboo wooden situation. It comes with a cleaner. you know, because you need to clean the shit on the inside or you're nasty if you don't. This is Vita Jewel. So how it works, you put it like this and you place it in whatever you're drinking. And if you're a believer in crystals and spirituality the way I am, like I just feel like it blesses your water and cleanses your water and it gives it energy. And whatever you're drinking gives it good energy. It cleanses the energy and it sends out good vibrations. This is a rose quartz that's attached to it. So this would go on the bottom and you would drink like this and it's a whole vibe. Thank you, Miranda Kerr, for sending this. Like, it's pretty dope. I've never seen a straw with a crystal. I think it's pretty cool. Miranda Kerr sent me a straw with a crystal. <laughs> if you guys do shakes, protein shakes, I have been drinking a drink that I call Juicy Juice that gives me a lot of energy. It's like a pre-workout. Makes me into a real life crackhead. I love it, to be honest, because it gives me so much energy to get so much done, and especially for working out. This is called, I don't know, I'll link it down below, Ecora. I got it from Amazon. So I just placed water there. But imagine if it's like a protein shake or if it is energy, no, what is it? Pre-workout, not an, it's an energy booster. Or if you're drinking collagen, whatever, you just press this button. Yes, bitch. Spin, fucker. And it just shakes it for you. It's for us lazy bitches out there that can't shake shit on, the, on our own. Technology, it's a hell of a thing, isn't it? But how dope is that? Like every time I see it sitting flat, I'm like, Coke, and everyone's like, wow, that's so pretty. And it's a purple pre-workout drink, so it looks really aesthetically pleasing too, but I think it's really cool that it just does this for you. I feel like it's mixing it nice and good. It's cool because you can just drink out of the tumbler and anywhere you go, you can refresh your drink by just a press of a button. It comes with a USB cord that you can charge. Honestly, I feel like all the USB little charges, you only need like three of them because all the products have the same charging cord. This is, I feel like, one of my greatest purchases and whoever sees this always buys one too. I think it's pretty cool, even if you pour your smoothie in there and you wanna give it a little shake up every single time. Hygiene, we're back into hygiene. I saw this on TikTok and I had to give it a try and I was very amused and impressed by it. So this is a professional formula, anti-plaque mouth rinse. Thera Breath, Periodontist Formulated Healthy Gums Oral Rinse, fights gingivitis for 24 hours, protects from plaque and tar, 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 freshens breath. This really gives your breath like what it needs to be had. It really eliminates bad breath. Like in the morning, I like love smelling my breath. <laughs> With this, I'm like, <sighs> that's the vibe it'll put you on which is pretty, pretty amazing. Give this a try and let me know if you guys 
are obsessed and if you guys have used this, comment down below on how life-changing this mouthwash really is. We're still on the mouth. I got sent this in PR, the Kopari Coconut Charcoal Toothpaste. Wow, I was really blown away. It really cleans your mouth and it is a natural toothpaste. It's created from coconut and charcoal. One of them, obviously, clearly one of the main ingredients. Also, the only thing that's a downer in this, but I don't really mind because I clean up after myself. When you're spitting the toothpaste out, when you're brushing your teeth, it's black. And then, you know, like how some people have like blue stains or green stains from toothpaste. This is black stains, so you need to quickly clean it up before it stains your sink. I know some people when they like wash their teeth, they'll like literally leave the specks of the toothpaste behind on the sink. Comment down below if you're that violent with your sink and that's what you do to it. And comment down below if you immediately clean it. I'm a cleaner, I won't let that shit sit. Tongue scrapers, grin. So I had a metal one before and then the more and more I kept analyzing and I was like, I'm not really sanitizing it and it's like literally sitting around and it's metal. Like how much bacteria is that really collecting? I found these plastic ones like this, uh, 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 like that. Don't forget if you are brushing your teeth, just brushing it is not enough. You need to scrape your tongue, floss. It has this at the tip of it as well where you can pick on your teeth if you need to, scrape and then also you need to floss your teeth. Not flossing your teeth is equivalent to taking a shit and not cleaning your ass. Again, I will repeat that one more time. Not flossing your teeth is literally like taking a shit and not cleaning your ass with a baby wipe. I know a lot of you dirty ass hoes out there literally take a shit and wipe your ass with paper. What is it? No, toilet paper. That's gross to me. Like, come on, it didn't get all of it. You have feces in your butthole and dingleberries hanging from it. We're in 2021, we need to wipe our butts with the correct measures to really clean it. We are gonna go on the luxury side of things. I get a lot of messages from people that want to see like what designer pieces I'm purchasing. I feel like either it's for presents or they wanna know like what's in, what's the in shoe, what's the in bag. I actually try not so hard to follow the trends because I'm a type of person that likes to not wear what everyone's wearing, but sometimes I do fall into it where it's just so pretty that I, I will go with the trendier things. But I wanna make sure if you guys are doing trendy things that it is a like forever piece, you will forever be able to hold it, wear it, whatever it may be. I purchased these together. So if you guys wanna buy somebody this for Christmas or you know if an anniversary is coming up or you wanna spoil yourself, these are it for me. So these are Alexander Wang. They are a matching shoe and bag. This is so beautiful. And then it says Alexander Wang down here. Very reminiscent of like Judith Lieber-ish with the crystals and the shine, obviously not the format of how the bag is, but we all know that a crystal bag is very, very in, and I feel like Alexander Wang brought it in with a thank you handbag. Love this, that it matches with the shoe. Now, it can be worn separately or together. I'm completely obsessed. This shoe is about four inches high. I'm not the biggest fan of the strap bag here. I feel like it doesn't stick. You have to like make sure. I would definitely try this on. So I am a six and a half, seven, and I purchased a 37. I'm just obsessed with how it looks. Like I can't explain to you what it looks like in person. So lately, I know I'm gonna contradict myself. I don't like wearing heels just because like I don't really give a fuck to look taller now. Like I feel like when I was younger, I was so insecure about like, I need to always wear heels. My legs need to look good. And the older I've gotten, like one advice I would give like, the younger girls out there and just anyone younger. It's like what you're so obsessed with now and you feel like makes you look better, the older you get, like the confidence that pours in and you're just like, I don't give a fuck anymore is really crazy. Like they would always tell me, like my friends would always tell me, your 30s is when you're the most confident can't tell you how accurate that is. Anything you're insecure about in your 20s, 30s will make it all go away because you're just not gonna care. But for the times that like, you know, you wanna look cute and stuff. We have Asper Cream with lidocaine and we spray it on our feet and you can't feel shit. Here's the catch with this. Don't spray too much or you're not gonna be able to really feel your feet. And I sprayed a little bit too much at a red carpet 
and I stepped on my own toe and literally ripped my toe. And I was just standing there like bleeding out and not kind of feeling it. And then when the sensation comes back in, I would say it's probably a four hour wear. And it only says that you can, here's like a warning. Let me tell you exactly what it says. You can only have three applications of this. I don't know for what reason. I don't know if this is true or not. A lot of people on TikTok were like, I spray too much, I can't walk. I mean, you know when to stop. You don't wanna drench your foot in this. But at the same time, it says only three applications per 24 hours. So obviously when I used it, it was the first time on a red carpet. And I was like stomping around at the Chinese theater like, I don't have on six inch heels at all. I'm floating on a crowd cloud. And then I was hit by a bus the second the sensation went away. I feel like it hurts so much more when you didn't feel anything and all of a sudden like you're overwhelmed with pain. So keep it nearby if you're gonna use it because I feel like when your feet hurt in a shoe, you know how to walk to avoid cutting yourself up. But when it doesn't hurt, you're like running a track with heels and then it's sensation comes back, you're fucked. Moving on, two other things for you. So I'm a hat person. I'm always wearing a baseball cap, if you guys know me. Sunglasses and a baseball cap is my vibe and a wedge sneaker sometimes, because I'm 5'3 and I need a little bit of height. So recently I found this Chanel beanie and I think it's so cute because this is like a timeless piece. You can always wear it, you can add brooches to it. It is embossed and stitched. So the CC does stand out. It's super, super, super cute. I feel like this is a forever piece. It was $600. It's pretty affordable for Chanel, to be honest. This makes a really, really great gift. I don't know, I love it. It's like probably one of my favorite beanies I've ever purchased. Also, new sunglass purchase. This is from the men's. It is everything. Green is for the season, honey, and I feel like it's not really going anywhere. This is the Marble Louis Vuitton men's sunglasses. It's not women's. Again, you're not gonna find it in the women's area. It is men's. I love a giant television screen on my face, especially when I don't have on makeup. A beanie or a hat, just so cute. I'm ready for winter. Skiing wear. Trying to wear a beanie in LA. I mean, it's just like a vibe, you know what I'm saying? This definitely doesn't match with it, but these were my luxury purchases as well. I wanted to add that into my favorites videos. Thank you guys so much for watching Harush's favorite things. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and thank you Audible for once again sponsoring a video of mine. Do not forget to go ahead and give a listen to Robert Greene, The Art of Seduction on Audible. Text Harush to 500-500 to receive a discount on Audible. Without further ado, further ado, here is the quote of the video. It's a long one, but I really want you guys to like let it sink in. Let this one sink in. You are absolutely capable of creating the life you can't stop thinking about. Stop living in your head and it's time to make your dreams happen. I honestly feel like a lot of people around me, and I'm guilty of this too, I'll think of ideas in my head, I'll think of changes I wanna to make to my life, in my life, in my head, but am I actually doing it in real life? No, but I'll think about it for like five years and be like, and then when I see somebody else doing it, it's like, fuck, that was my idea. No, bitch, it wasn't. You didn't bring it to fruition. Stop living in your head and live the life you dreamed of. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Mwah.